Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to the Rim World. We may, may just be pulling back from the abyss here. It's going to be close. Um, we're, we're starting to get better on the food. I've made the decision it's time to save these guys. So we're going to have to recapture Jono because he's uh, basically passed out from lack of food. But we need to start feeding these guys and talking to these guys again. But we'll start by feeding them. Is the first one. I think we can survive that now. Jono likewise. Prisoner gets food. That's. I think we can actually keep them alive. So let's speed things up a little bit. Uh, it's one for Gumpy, and yeah, we feed it to Jono. <sighs> Excellent. Got a couple of bits of food, and we need to move these corpses. So, Tigress, now you've done that. Um, do the butchering. Actually, that's an excellent idea. And after you've done that, what I want you to do is I want you to get rid of some of these corpses before Ichabod has a nervous breakdown. Poor chap. Excellent. There, there's a few meals sorted out. What's this message? A trade ship. It's a slave trader. We'll have a bit of that. Thank you very much. Just what we wanted. Right, people. We have an inventor, we have a muffalo shaman, and we have a weaver. Let's have a look at the muffalo shaman first, shall we? Okay, incapable of nothing. He's a, he was a herder. As a child, Barrow tended the tribe's muffalo herds, keeping them safe from predators and treating the sick. It was quiet work, but he enjoyed being away from people. And in adulthood, he was a muffalo shaman. Because of his quiet wisdom and great strength, Barrow became the spiritual leader for a nomadic tribe that followed the herds of roaming buffalo. You know what? I want a compulsive cusser with radiation tolerance. I think we're going to have him. Let's have Barrow. He's definitely going to be a good addition to the group, isn't he? And Galga. What's Galga like? Uh, yeah, we already have an inventor, so let's have a look at Galga. He was a cave child. Galga grew up in a large and intricate cave complex that extended deep into the mountainside. She helped the adults maintain and improve the deep caves. And then, Galga was an expert at working muffalo wool, plant fibres and natural dyes into beautiful clothing for her kin. Her beautiful handicrafts were traded frequently between the local tribes. She's incurious, and considering her background is interesting, she has artificial arms. And quite frankly, I think we want to buy her. That doesn't give us enough for a bear, but I think we're doing all right as is. And they don't trade anything. So right, we now have four people. And this is going to be very useful for us. Okay, so that's always a one. That's always a one. Um, we've got someone else who likes doctoring, so that can be a one. Um, Right, so we will, what should we do? We will put these down to, no, these were f supposed to be four. I'm looking at the wrong person, aren't I? So uh, we'll put these down to three. So, like that. Three, three, and we will put these to four. Because I always like my colonists to have the option of doing everything. Just change the priorities they're in. We have enough people that we can get back to doing some research, so we shall put research in as two. He can carry on... is he any good at constructing? Who's, is there anyone better at constructing? You're better at constructing, so you'll probably be our constructor. And... Uh, I'm wondering if I should raise the priority of repairing in general. Yes, I think I will. Um, but you can go back to three for constructing because I want you to be our grower and miner. Let's put that to one for everybody. So if they see something that's broken, they fix it. Uh, okay, so we have a grower, we have a miner. What do you like is mining. Um, you're as good at mining as well. Okay, and you like it too. What do you like at growing? You're better at growing. 
let's make you our backup miner. So you'll do the growing, researching in your spare time, and you are our constructor. And when you're done constructing, you mine for us. Okay, let's see how we go with that. First things first, Bero, have a pistol. Galga, have a pistol. Good start. You guys can both haul for me. Prioritize hauling. And while I'm thinking about it, what does a pirate have as equipment? Can we see it on the dead? We can't see it on the dead. Okay. So, just strip them anyway. And then haul them. Let's get rid of, let's get these guys out of the way. Galgar, I thought I told you to haul. Obviously you didn't. But haul anyway. There we go. Now we need to get you guys some beds. And I think we're going to need to start planning that uh, somewhat. But for now, let's see where we can put some beds. There's two beds in here. But I don't particularly like that idea. So it looks like for now you guys are going to have to bunk up with Tigris and Ichabod. So let's get those put in. Furniture, sleeping spots, sleeping spots, sleeping spot. And now let's think of making some bedrooms. And I think I have an idea of how I want to do this first thing we will do is we will make a wall along here and yes let's do it there and there and we'll put a door in there and we will ask for some mining to be done so this will be our main corridor go out to say there and we shall have some bedrooms off of this so three four five one two three four five and a door and a door and will that fit yes so there's three and how can we get this up here so that is just enough excellent so we will have we'll clear that because we don't need it and we need one more bedroom for now so let's just do the one more one two three four five and five and a door and that should be good enough to start with in fact we don't need to mine that just yet so there we go and we have food we have loads of food in that muffalo we might need to go hunting we'll see you detected an escape pod landing nearby do we want Tara let's have a look at Tara she's a, um, an oaf so she's got excellent growing not much interested in anything else not any any good at intellectual or scary so she can't put out fires and she can't think that hard as a child, Tara grew up with a laundry list of phobias and neuroses. She feared, amongst other things, doctors and foodborne pathogens. As a result, she learned to cook and care for herself, but many of her fears dog her in adulthood. And as an adult, she became a medieval farm oaf, ho uh, medieval farm oaf. tilling, hoeing, guiding ox carts, pushing wheelbarrows, digging ditches, planting seeds, predicting the harvest. Medieval level farmers aren't educated in the usual sense, but they know a lot about growing plants without technology. That said, such a life leads the essential leads one essentially incapable of participating in intellectual technology driven activities. You know what? I think we want her. Let's um let's save her, shall we? Let's save her. Let's find someone and let's go grab her. So, who do we have? Barrow, you're sleeping. Tigris, you're sleeping. Ichabod, you're sleeping. Galga, you're not. Guess what you get to do? Provided I can remember where she is. Ah, there we go. Capture Tara. 
Okay, well that's easily fixed. Furniture, sleeping spot. Meet your new friends, Jonah and Grumpy. Where were we again? Galga! Stop arguing with me. Go capture Tara before a boom rat eats her. Right. Does anyone mind if we are called Bero Yogi Bero? Good. Oh, he's making himself useful, isn't he? Right. Um, these guys are starting to cheer up, so let's um, friendly chat, try to recruit, and grumpy, friendly, try to recruit, friendly chat, and while I'm thinking about it, um, Tigress, for all her enthusiasm, has a skill level of two, so I think I actually want to take her off of Warden. Um, but that said, these guys aren't that much better, to be honest with you, are they? You don't have much in the ways of one, so there you go. You can be our, our man, the Shaman. You can be our Warden for now. Perhaps you can talk people in a little bit better. Oh. Hmm. Didn't do... I didn't do this the storage spot very well here, did I? Let's um, sort this out. So we've got foods. We don't want apparel. And we don't want corpses. We don't want corpses at all. And the foods we store there are only meals. Okay, so there we go. They'll move the stuff off there now. Tigress making meals. Galga. Yeah. Do you know what, guys? I think this is starting to come back together. I really do think we have a chance. And to be honest with you, if you'd asked me this a couple of episodes, I thought we were doomed so let's get this stuff dug out and then we'll start putting some food outside again because I actually want to use this for other things I also want to make a a better prisoner area hopefully increase our chances of getting these guys yeah all told we are starting to look better and the nice thing about these sun lamps is it actually doubles the the growing rate because it's daylight all the time so Yep, yeah, starting to come together. Starting to come together indeed. Okay, so we nearly got all the construction done. We don't have much in the way of metal, so hopefully we'll dig up some. Okay. What's happened here? Why are we slowed down? We haven't. My perception has sped up. Oh, get through the night. And then, okay, what's happened here? A deep space miner from Village at the Crag is passing by. His name is Bundy Giles. Okay, it's not really surprising that Grumpy and Jono are below the loyalty threshold because we've done some awful things to them, really. And I, I, I feel so guilty, to be honest with you. Oh, dear. A group of tribespeople from Combat of the Crag have arrived. They are attacking immediately. Here they come. Right, guys, whatever you're doing, let's get you guys drafted. Let's get you up here. Where do we want you? Hmm. We actually do, really do need to start thinking of defenses here, don't we? Um. Can you go, actually, can you go up here? There we go. That's better. And Ichabod, you go over here. There we go. Tiger, Barrow, if you move back, you're less likely to get shot by Tigris, which is just going to make your life happier, really, isn't it? There's one down. Can... Oh, you're a good shot, aren't you? Galga, what stage are you in? You're hurt. Go inside. And you three want you to get closer. Here we'll do. There we go. 
and let's just get get rid of Camisa because quite frankly she's a bit better or he's a bit better at this than you are so come on yeah we go you can do it right undraft undraft you're eating you're delivering food you're eating and you're eating okay guys get that out of your systems first and then we'll get rid of these corpses Galga sleeping yes Tigress you're repairing meals okay let's let's get a few meals there come on nice nearly there get one more and then I'm gonna get you some wholesome corpses there we go okay Tigress let's first of all let's get uh, unforbid them and then if you would kindly haul this corpse we don't really want the tribal gear that's excellent you're not very good at this bear are you but you're better than Tigris was okay and let's haul this corpse as well and then you can get back to get back to work we very nearly got some bedrooms I don't know about you but I'm looking forward to that okay the other things we need to do here are tidy up this area because it's a bit hideous get some power down here and oh good the harvest is nearly in we're going to be all right for food actually is there a hunting potential around here at all yeah there's still these buffalo here I'm just gonna mark those for hunting and see if somebody picks it up oh not the boom rat so just cancel the boom rat there there we go somebody hunts those things they hunt those food things we get some extra food it's great if they don't hunt those things they don't hunt those things we don't get the extra food it's still great and we're chugging away nicely here now this is starting to get together these guys have got no skills whatsoever is a slight problem but they make up for it with enthusiasm don't they oh. my worries still are defenses because we don't have any um, oh stomp what do you like stomp uh, character you're a scientist so if you're a scientist why do you have such terrible research you're incapable of cleaning and hauling you're a cat herder stomp helped out at his father's cat breeding business socializing herding and feeding hundreds of cats who became a feline scientist stomp became a renowned scientist in the field of felines wanting wanting the best for his animals and specializing in selective breeding he set out on a journey to find the perfect breeding grounds for his cats what can we do with you we will capture you I'm afraid stomp mate we're going to be selling you off um, but at least we are not leaving you to die we just can't find where you were there you are capture Let's build another bed. Uh, structure, furniture, sleeping spot. There. And while I'm thinking about it, let's get a light in here as well. Uh, actually, let's make it two. That'll cheer them up a little bit. And start. Barrow. Yeah. I need to get you to uh, capture this guy, don't I? It's a real shame because you were just about to go out to hunt, but let's capture this guy nonetheless. So, there we are. We're back to four prisoners. But, to be honest with you, we're in a much better state to cope with them now. What's that? That is a piler. That's unforbid it. Where? It's exploded. What exploded? Ah, a boom rat starved to death. I was wondering where that was going to start happening. Okay, stomp. Prisoner. 
Okay, you get food, but that's all we're doing with you. Um, let's see what these prisoners are like. Um, recruitment difficulty is rather high, but you're in a better state than you were. Once we get these buildings done, the next step will be to tidy this up and make a prisoner complex out of it, I think. Um, what we'll do is we'll make them some bedrooms and we'll put, perhaps put a nutrient paste dispenser in here just to cheer them just to cheer them up and it'll also cut down on the work that uh, the the colonists have to do uh, as part of the wardening and while I'm thinking about it last thing before we sign off let's make a bedroom so structure don't have any wood so power door and furniture no no okay right cancel that we need some wood so let's add an instruction for making uh, for felling some trees shall we chop wood that should keep us going excellent so we're not building a actually what can we build structure furniture beds require wood Raw beds for fire and metal, so we can't build that many of them, so I'm afraid we are going to have to wait for those trees to be cut down. Tigris, what oh you are. You're a trooper, aren't you? You are so good. An eclipse doesn't matter to us. So let's start laying out this bedroom, shall we? So we'll have a bed. We'll have a bed there. We will have a standing lamp there and we will have um, a wooden door there and while I'm thinking about it and while we're not actually being attacked by anything let's deconstruct the uh, no let's not deconstruct those just yet what should we do here I know what we'll do we will structure build a metal wall there and we'll just build some powered doors on top of it then we will deconstruct these wood doors okay guys we're well past the 20 minutes done about you I am feeling so much more optimistic now this has been the RimWorld I've been Simon Parsons I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have thank you and good night